So I was doing a farmer meeting last week and there was a comment made in the audience that all the rain we were having in the last fortnight or so would lead to lots of fluky conditions and lots of fruit problems this back end. Well, that farmer wasn't wrong. She wasn't 100% right either, okay? So if you'll remember from videos we did earlier on the summer, our fluke fate in a given year is decided during the warmest months of the year. If we get moisture during those warm months, i.e. the summertime, May, June, July, we get moisture then, we have a fluke problem in the back end. The rain we're getting now, and then over the last couple of weeks, is not gonna affect us from a fluke point of view in the short term, because there's an incubation period for fluke of around about six weeks inside that intermediate host, which is the mud snail, a tiny peppercorn-sized snail. He likes heat, he likes moisture. We're getting lots of moisture at the moment, but we're, our temperatures have come right back down, so mud snail activity will actually be lower, much lower now than it was during the summer. But I suppose lambs, livers that we're seeing coming back with lots of fluke in them at the moment, that's because of the rain and heat we got during the summer, okay? So again, fluke can be staggering in terms of numbers behind it, okay? So a single adult, and they're both male and female, they're hermaphrodites, a single adult can produce 20,000 eggs in a single day. So those eggs are all going to be hitting our pasture. They are sporadic layers, but the potential is for 20,000 eggs to hit pasture in a single day, okay? So those eggs will hatch within a month, and it'll be quicker if conditions are more favorable. If they hatch within the vicinity of a mud snail, penetrate that mud snail, one egg penetrates one mud snail, Fast forward six weeks, you've got in excess of 500 infective fluke larvae on your pasture. And each of those is a potential liver fluke. So there's a multiplication that happens inside that snail. 